Once Human is planning on undergoing another server maintenance on August 1st, and this one is actually massive because with it is coming some new memetic optimization. I'm gonna break all of the changes down right here. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. Starting off with these memetic optimizations, they say they've added a new item drop, the memetic specialization memory fragment. They say that after using this fragment, you will gain the corresponding memetic specialization effect. Up to three memory fragments can be used per season. When the in-game item controller is used, there is a certain chance of obtaining a random memory fragment. All memetic specialization memory fragments will be destroyed at the end of the season, and they will not be sent to the Eternal Land Depot. These fragments can be traded in between players. So there now is going to be a market for these fragments, and essentially what these are going to do is they are going to make it to where you will at least be able to get your hands on the best memetic specializations even if your rng was complete in total trash my specializations for example are actually trash and this kind of sucks because it really does gatekeep you from some of the best methods for farming stardust source or smelting your gold into ingots i've not been able to do that now with these memory fragments you'll be able to un unlock three extra specializations of your choosing that way you do not feel as left out if you did not get the specialization that you were looking for this is a huge change a much needed and uh welcome change let me know how you guys feel about this down in the comments on top of that though there are some gameplay optimizations coming in with this update they say that they've enriched the highway pursuit game mode adding a new route to the chalk peak region with the event starting time now being fixed to 9 p.m. your server time. The Rosetta trucks now automatically drop sproutlets even if the player does not attack them, as well as they've increased the quantity of sproutlet and reward drop. I thought the sproutlet count was decent enough, but the rewards coming out of the final chest definitely needed buff. There are a ton of other changes coming into the game. Optimizations for combat, planting, wilderness, building, interaction. There's a ton going on here. I'm not gonna read through it all for the sake of time. I will have a link to this down in the description if you guys want to go breeze through this yourself. Let me know down in the comments if in future videos you guys would be interested in me reading the entirety of the patch notes. But for time's sakes here, we're gonna keep it short and sweet. One extra thing I did wanna point out though that they have written in red is some deviation interaction optimizations. They say they optimized the controls for synchronizing deviation abilities. The player player can now press G to interact with a securement unit to sync a combat deviant to their cradle. They've adjusted the controls for withdrawing deviation. After opening a securement unit, the player can now press U to withdraw the I don't know how many times. So let me know down in the comments if this has happened to you. But it has happened to me like at least a dozen times where I get a new combat deviant out. <laughs> I get them all synced to the cradle. Boom, I pull them out by freaking accident, dude. I swear. I, this is a much needed change. A, uh, yeah, that's cool. But those are all of the major changes that I wanted to talk about coming into this next update for Once Human. Let me know what you guys are up to inside of the game and what sort of meta build that you are working towards. Other than that, though, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I'm out.